Greetings to the 30 tribes of Israel scattered in the four corners of the earth and to the Gentiles called by the ox of fairy name of Abba Yahuwah, Elohim. This is the ox of fairy name that is above all name, eternal. Shabbat Shalom, much love and much prosperity attend your family for you are the only reason of our time like truth because the time is simply near. Just as we see, the days goes by, so draw nigh the coming of Yehoshua HaMashiach. Just as the Malak of Yehoah saith unto Yehokanai, the Revelator, seal not the prophecies of this book, for the time is simply near. Exactly what we are doing here formally, decoding end times, prophecies, signs, dreams, in preparing people like your body, like your house, like you, for the blessed returning of King Yehoshua HaMashiach, our eternal bridegroom, to whom do eternally, our worship, praise, honor, glory, riches, power, wealth, to the glory of his magnificent Abba, Yahuwah, the Almighty, eternal. And to the Ruach HaKodesh, to the Ruach HaKodesh, to the Ruach HaKodesh, forevermore, all glory goes to the Ruach HaKodesh. Eternally, all praise, worship, honor goes to the Ruach HaKodesh. Forevermore, all honor goes to the Ruach HaKodesh. To the Ruach HaKodesh. To the Ruach HaKodesh. Ruach HaKodesh. Ruach HaKodesh. Ruach HaKodesh Sekei Abu Ruach HaKodesh Sekei Abu Ruach HaKodesh Sekei Duri Labayo Ruach HaKodesh Sekei Nebosei Ruach HaKodesh Sekei Ma Santa Labu Ruach HaKodesh Sekei Nebosei Duri Labasei Imo Santa Labu Imo Yata Labe Sekei Ruach HaKodesh Sekei ma meka, sekei ma santa labu, ruach hakodesh, ruach hakodesh, yes, it's ruach hakodesh. Love you, Abba. Thank you for giving me your most beautiful ox and lovely, powerful pet, the ruach hakodesh. Mm, it's my everything. Thank you, Abba. Love you. Hallelujah. Yes, Abba Yehoah, you have been worshipped, praised, loved, served, honored, always, ever, eternal, right in the temple of your handmaid, your eternal bride, Isha, for you are my Abba and my eternal husband. Abba Yehoah, Iborobo Sandelebo. Amba Yahua, he must say ke la buyant la bu. Amba Yahua, he go robos karabo. Amba Yahua, he must santa la bu. Yende rebo. He must santa la bu yende rebo. He must say ke la buyant la bu. Amba Yahua, he go robos karabo. Amba Yahuwa ima santa labu yende rebo. Hallelujah, Abba. Thank you for giving me your eternal spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh. Thank you for giving me your eternal world, King Yahushua HaMashiach. Hallelujah. Thank you for the camp of Israel. Thank you for forgiving my sins, for forgiving our sins, the camp of Israel. Thank you, Abba. Bless your holy mighty name. Yes. Your staff comfort us 
Shandalaba, our eternal shepherd. Thank you for your eternal staff to direct us and to correct us and to draw us closer to yourself. Hallelujah. Bless you, Abba. All right, now, family, we want to do it again. Here we are in the heavenly courtroom of Abba Yahuwah with this powerful message titled for you and me. Jesus is the thief in God's house. Judgment as a thief. JC, which is Jesus Christ, and this evil prophet are Yahuwah's anger, hunger for lawbreakers. Shadari brokers, Jesus is the thief in God's house, or rather in Yah's house, or God's house. Judgment as a thief. Jesse and his evil prophets are Yahuwah's hunger for lawbreakers because you don't want to keep his law. He's so hungry. So, so, so hungry. Fearful, not give you to what you need. You want to believe lie? Just have lies, okay? That is judgment of abandonment. All these things we are seeing going on, it is Abba Yahuwah's wrath. And the judgment as a thief is already here. So that's what I want to look into. Who is the thief in Yahuwah's house? It's Jesus Christ. And all his pastors, evil prophets. Nonsense Suleiman. Nonsense Adeboye. Nonsense Oyedikbo. And nonsense uh, Jeremiah Snake. Jeremiah Motofufuin. All of this nonsense. Nonsense Bakari. That one that just failed woefully. He said that uh, his God told him that he's going to be the 16th president of Nigeria. He failed woefully. He's a total garbage. Nonsense, uh, Joshua Gila. These are jokers. In fact, nonsense, uh, what they call TB joker, even though he's in the grave, is still nonsense because all his brush, they are all here. They are all complete demonic entity. These are thieves. These are armed robbers in Yahuwah's house. These are magicians. Because you are so hungry with this generation, you don't want to do the right thing. You don't want to follow his, his, his rules and regulations. Therefore, not give you a thief. Judgment is a thief. All these things we are saying through Christianity. In fact, this one is so pronounced. We are seeing it all. That we just say, Jesus said that hey, you should sell your house. And you should sow a seed. That is a thief. I'm robber. The other one will say, Jesus said you should sell your car and use it to sow a seed. That is arm robber. Including gold, including telephone. What, what are they not stealing from them? It is judgment. Come on now. It is Yahuwah's wrath. Because you don't want to do the right thing. Therefore, he gave you, he gave you a thief. And Yahushua said, <laughs> thief is in his house. And who is a thief? It is Jesus Christ. So what, when thief come to you, what are they, what, 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 what are they asking for? What do they want from you? They need your most precious jewelry, your most valuable property, valuable property, your treasure. So what could that be? Salvation. The devil come and not, but to do what to steal, kill, and destroy. It is your salvation. Judgment as a thief. Are we ready to look into that? Is he already? The judgment is he already. The only one thief to come now, which is Islam, will also do that one apart. Mahardi is another thief and it's uh, Yahuwah's wrath, okay, upon this wicked generation that say truth, that prefer the, uh, lies, okay. He said, broad is the way, wide is the gate, that leads to destruction. He said, many people already gone through that. Narrow is the way that leads to heaven, only few people. So, lies, you no know, travel so wide. Lies is acceptable, the ways of lies is so broad. It's so huge. It's so big. And many people is dancing the music. But the ways of truth is so narrow. Because he said there, there are issues he just wants to hear lie. He said time will come, which is the very time we are now. May we not endure some adultery anymore. They will not want to hear the truth. Just tell us what we want to hear. God kill your enemy. Yeah, come and plant seed. This is, Jesus is a thief completely. Because Christianity is the testament of Jesus. Christianity is the fruit of Jesus. When they say Christian, simply mean they are like Jesus. They are thief. Look at the other one that day. Somebody stole money from the bank. Two billion. That is nonsense, Christo. Or you are killing the masturbator family. Huh? 
this guy gave a seed of one billion. So what did they call that one dangerous sower? They even give a word. They think all this is normal. <laughs> Judgment as a thief. Jesus Christ is the thief. You see how they are stealing your property from you? They steal. Where they all sight anything good in you? Before you know, prophecy will come. Before you know, dream will come. That, that if they are God, so you should give it away. Come and use it to sow seed. <laughs> you see? The nonsense that Deboye said, if you don't pay tithe, you are not going to heaven. That is the judgment of... That, that is the doctrine of the thief. Because the book never says so. You see the useless or, or, or Richard Jaffo, he went to the U.S. How many years ago? I think two years ago. He said you should sell 500 whatever dollars. If you don't give that money, he said you're going to miss God. God is here. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Come on. Come on. Come on. He said, I think he said uh, uh, 450. I don't know how many people he point actually. He said, I forgot him. He said each should son, uh, sow a seed of five, $500. Dollars. So that money, he said uh, 500 people. In fact, it's a long time. But this is the judgment as a thief. They are stealing from you. They are stealing from you. Come and pay this money. They go to Shiloh. You pay money. And you want to do this, you pay money. They say it's money, money, money. Judgment as a thief. Let's put scriptures now. So this doctrine they are giving unto you, what, what is the nature of it? Deeper life is another nonsense. What they call it? Okoto. Kumuji, that is Mumu. Another bastard, nonsense, all of them. Oh, Jesus Christ, Pastor, you, you have ever knew on this earth. They are all nonsense, okay? All of them is rubbish. They are all satanic. They are all arm robber working for Jesus, the greatest of all arm robber. Hmm? Because if you don't do what the book says, you, you are working for the thief to rob souls, help him to fill this kingdom, to fill the link of fire. They are still his souls. That is it. Because that's what they take from you, your eternal state. They want you to spend it in the link of fire. And therefore, they're also going to give you a message of that. That is why they are asking you for money, 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 all the time. The nonsense, uh, the boy you said, you should, they should come and pay tight of one billion. Ah, ah, what is that for? <laughs> yes, the nonsense, what they call it, Christo, okay, for that one said you will be blind 10 minutes. Oh, no, what a shame. But what are we saying? These are all Ambroba ministers. Okay, Jesus is the Ambroba. If that power is free, if I be a man of God, be blind for 10 minutes, oh, I was, I, I wanted to pass into that internet to just bite him. I want to cut off his ears. But the fact, I, I not, oh, my body was hot. I said, but you won't leave me. Why are you restraining me? I want to beat this bastard of Kafo. That man is a joke. If I be a man of God, be blind for 10 minutes. And the bastard woman, Jezebel, that one I begin to display on all that nonsense from the pit of hell. Then the bastard congregation, the evil ministers, and the useless congregation, they were all shouting, hey, what are you rejoicing for? Somebody said somebody should be blind, and the person is blind. Is that true? If that power, if that is true, tell, no, is this not the same bastard Christo, Christ, Christo Kafo? Who stage that lady called Bosse that have plastic hand that was twisting her hand? So people still don't learn from that. Five pastors now use one woman to stage, manage miracle. So people still don't learn from that. You, he also went and read this nonsense again with this bastard woman, Jezebel Delilah. If I be man of God, be blind for 10 minutes. What is that? What is that nonsense for? And look at the poor con 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 congregation. They're not beginning to celebrate. Celebrate what? If the power is free, come on now. Full and is there. Come on, face the real thing. And stop at a movie. If the power is free, you see all those people go to hospital. Come on, I go and display that power. Buari and this administration, they are dead. Do something. Nigeria is a witness. Come on and stop that nonsense. Nothing work in that country. If the power to be commanding people to be blind is free, why can't you also command? To all these full and years men to come out from with the hiding places, Boko Haram, all this corruption in Nigeria. Why are you not using that power to fix it? What is Jesus doing for Nigeria actually? In a nutshell, what is Jesus doing? You are stealing from people. Anyways, let me not divert. But when I see that mess, I want to pass in through that, pass through that, you know, 
telephone or whatever camera because I was I watched it. I watched that nonsense on Facebook. I said, hey, Azuma can just pass through this telephone, you know, through this internet to beat this man. This man deserves beating. I said, I bet you what, I want to flood this man. No, that was so shameful. Oh, I said, eh? What I was saying, these are all magician. You know, the, the, it's judgment, okay? And anyways, let's put scriptures now. Hmm? All right, now, let's start walking our way from this very passage, okay? Through other, you know, holy scriptures. Revelation 3, verses 3. Remember, are you remembering anything? Remember, therefore, how thou hast... Okay, let me take it again. Remember, therefore, how thou hast received and heard. What did you receive? What did you hear? What did you receive from the biblical Messiah? And what have you heard from him? And repent. So what is the meaning of repentance? Stop breaking the royal law. That is the definition of sin. He said to unto that woman, go and sin no more. Now, sin, definition, when you go to 1 John chapter 3, verses 4, the definition of sin simply means transgression of the law. You transgress the law. He said, go and break the law no more. He said, unto the woman, the Pharisees wanted to stone because he said they caught her in the very act. And Yahushua now said unto the Pharisees, that is John chapter 8. He now said unto the Pharisees, he said, come on now, you are hypocrites. He that have not sinned, first of all, cast the first stone. So what was that? He was quoted the Torah. That is what they wrote on the ground. Actually, he quoted the Deuteronomy chapter 17, verses 7 for them, 1 through 7. Deuteronomy 17, verses 1 through 7. He said, anyone caught in that nonsense act, breaking the law, the first person that saw them doing that nonsense cast the stone while every other person would follow. So the Pharisees did not do that. The man that was bambagging her, they set him free. Now they only dragged the woman to crucify the man. What about the man? That is actually what Yahushua was reading. What about the man? After I was in Asa, he quoted the law. That's what they wrote on the ground. Now, if you are not saying that is, if you are not breaking the law, first of all, try that nonsense. He said they were convinced because he quoted the law. We are just quoted Deuteronomy 17, verses 1 through 7. All of them dropped their phone, a uh, stone. Then Yahushua now said to the woman, Go and sin no more. Simply put, go and break the law no more. So, that is repent. This is revelation, the end of the matter. Listen, repent. And go back to what you received and what you heard. If therefore, listen, this is the stipulation. If therefore thou shalt not, okay, where is it? If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Do you know what that is? He said, Come, the way I'm going to fall upon you suddenly. You don't know how I'm bringing this judgment. You don't know how, how I'm going to bring judgment as a thief unto you. He said, remember. Now, what did he, what did he want you to remember? Quickly, let's, let me. I'm also going out of time, man. Eh? Where is it? Because this one is also important, very important. Where we just read in Revelation 3, 3. So you should remember what you have received. That is past tense. And what you have heard from him himself. Say, listen now. You should remember, John 14, verses 26. But the Counselor, which is the Comforter, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. Now you are forgotten utterly. Are you allowing the Holy Spirit to remind you of Shabbat? He said, keep the Shabbat day holy like today. He said that. Remain, remember, why did he ask, why, why did he say we should remember the Shabbat day and keep it holy? Because in no one wicked devil is coming to make you forget, which is the thief. Therefore, he said, remember. Matthew 28, verses 18 through 20. He said, go into all the nations. Uh, teach them to observe everything. The very one I have taught you, you know, give it unto them. Teach it unto them to observe all things. Genesis to Revelation. And that bastard thief, Jesus said, he destroyed that. The law that you shouldn't remember anymore. Yahushua said, take the, uh, uh, my supper. Do this in remembrance of me. Jesus said, no way. 
You must keep some in remembrance of him the day he fell. But what I would say, judgment as a thief. He said, remember, you allow the, the, you allow the Holy Spirit to remember, because it's going to teach you from Genesis to Revelation. Oh, that Yahushua has, has already said. He's going to remind you all. He's going to let you, if, he's going to remind you all. He's going to let you remember all in order for you to keep it. And he said, if you don't do that, <laughs> the way I'm going to bring this judgment, you, you're not going to be, you're going to be surprised. Listen, let's take that again. Revelation 3.3. 3. Remember, therefore, how thou hast received and heard and hold fast. They say, don't drop what you heard before. Don't drop it. Okay, hold fast. Listen. And repent. Stop breaking my law. Repent. Stop keeping, you know, this Babylonian. Repent. They say, if not, listen. If, therefore, thou shalt not watch. If you're not going to be watched when this thief is going to come. Listen, see. I will come upon thee as a thief. They have said this. He said, I will come upon thee as a thief. And thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. He said, Fat, you will not know how I'm going to bring this sudden judgment upon you. The judgment is already here. And Jesus is the thief. He is judging already through Jesus. You want to believe a lie? He gave you a lie to believe. Yes, because you hate the truth. Now, Luke chapter 12, verses 39. And this... And this know that if the guy, a good man of the house, had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not have suffered his house to be a broken through. He said, Good man, what is good man? Okay, let me. I think I'm not going to be quoting this because I'm running out of time. Now, where is this place? Matthew 15, verses 15 through 18, excuse me, Matthew chapter 7, verses 15 through 18. He said the good tree bring, up, bring forth good fruits. Now the bad tree also bring forth evil fruit. Now, if you are a good man, you come from that good tree, which is Yahushua and Mishnah, you're going to be watchful. You will never allow the thief to break into your home. But what is the opposite of good? It's evil, bad. Which is the evil tree. Those who cannot watch. And they are the thief already operating. What they are asking. Give it to me your soul. Give it to me exchange. Well, take the things of this world. Take lies. You know. And get, it's exchange. It's profit. What shall a man gain? You know. To, what, shall a man, what, shall, what, what shall he profit a man? To gain the whole world and lose your soul. You know. For your soul to be you know, destroyed. A deity has already profit from you because you profit something. He also profits something. And the way he is profiting from you, it is by thieves, stealing, deception. Okay? He deceives you. But Jesus is the thief in the house of Yehovah. Matthew 24, 24. Messiah himself said, the biblical Messiah is the one speaking, the not bastard Jesus. He said, many false Messiahs and false prophets Okay. You're gonna be doing great signs and wonders. So those are the thieves. So what he said in as in a, in as much as if it were possible, they would deceive the the lead. You see, their miracle is to steal your soul, but that miracle, what is the nature of it? Deception. Deception. That is the thief we are talking about. It's already been released. You have it already, you're missed. Let me quickly also read this. I can just quote the other ones. Judgment as a thief is already here. Matthew 24, 24. I want to read it. Okay. Listen now. For there shall arise false messiahs and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders in as much, in as so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. So now what is the nature of their miracle? This false messiah and this false prophet, they are the thieves, which is Jesus Christ. All oh, these false prophets, you see what the nonsense they are doing? Because they are the testament of Jesus Christ. They are the fruit of Jesus Christ. They are the evil tree. The years they must be said by their fruit. You shall know them. The fruit this group organization is bearing, we know from where they come from. said because a good tree can never bring forth evil fruit. No. Neither can evil tree bring forth good fruit. No, never. Everybody remain in their lane. So what are we saying? Jesus Christ is the thief. Uh, Abba Yehua has already brought judgment as a thief through the uh, group or group of people that carry his wrath. That carry his wrath. 
the biblical Messiah, the great terrible judge, is already judging through Jesus. What you are seeing, you don't see what they are doing to their people. The other day, one lady cried out and said, Jeremiah played her $30,000. $30,000. You don't see what they are doing. You don't see it. Exodus chapter 22, uh, 32, you can go and read that. Go and see how, because how Abba Yewa releases judgment because you said Poco Jesus is not the one that died for you. You said Poco Jesus is not the one that goes to the cross. You said Poco Jesus is not the one to carry into heaven the goody calf. The biblical Messiah, you now rejected him. You now run after demon, your enemy, the very thief. And see what happened in Exodus 32. Abba Yewa was the one who went into Asher and brought out his people from the land of bondage. Afterwards, they now said it was. Is, they now begin to give glory praises unto the God, the calf, the very thief, which is Jesus today. They are worshiping Jesus, the God, the calf, the very, very thief. He has stolen your soul, because broad is the way. He's leading. You sit down. You do what the Bible says. Sit down and construct everything you do as a Christian. But Jesus is a thief. He has already apprehended you. Not just you, many. But he also has to repent. Yes, stop. Repent. You can do it when you still have breath in you. Hosea 4, 6. I bet you will speak over there. He said, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. He said, because you reject his law, he also is going to reject you and reject your children. He said, because you reject his instruction, the law. You said Shabbat is not good. He said, it's Sunday. Everything. Abba Yewa said, you snuff it. You said, you want to go for my maid? Fear for. He said, we also reject you. Now, he said, my people are destroyed. It's not the people of the devil, but his own people. So, which means the people of the book is going to be destroyed. The, the, the thief is going to succeed in capturing their soul eternal. Because he said, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. He said, because you reject the law. He said, also, I'm going to reject you and reject your children. He said, I'm going to turn your glory into shame. Go and read it. Hosea 4, 6 to 7. Now, Second Thessalonians chapter 2. Okay, I will, I, will, I, will, I will read this one because it's hungry. All right, this, we start, let me just read it. Hosea 4, 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt not be shall be no more prince to me, seeing that seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. I also forgot thy children as they were as they as they were increased. So they are sinned so they sinned against me. Fearful I will change their glory into you see the problem because you forsake the law. You forsook you rejected the law. He said you grow in wickedness. You are sinned and guess you break his instruction. That is the only definition of sin. He said, because you ignore, you rejected this law. That is not just you now. I will also reject your children. So that is why you see, when I see how Christian pastor is playing these people, sometimes out of his sort of, I will say, no, it's a curse on you. Judgment as a thief. You don't see what Jesus Christ pastor is doing to people. They will sexually molest them, deceive them, collect their property, collect their cars, Collect their house, collect their money in the bank. So it will, so if so, they also did it to me. I use my last money to succeed. I even use my go to borrow money to succeed. What kind of rubbish is that? Now, Second Thessalonians chapter two verses. You can take it from one through twelve, but I'm reading from nine, nine through twelve. Even him who, whose coming is after the working of Satan. With all power and signs and lying wonder, you see their miracle is a lie again, okay? With all, ten, and with all deceivableness, oh my father, and with all deceivableness of all righteousness in them that perish, because, listen, here's the problem, they received not the love of the truth. Yahushua has, has said, I'm the way, and the truth is the truth. Truth is a deity. He said, because you rejected that truth. Therefore, let's see what happened. Why he put you? Why he sent Amrabah to you? That they might be saved. Let me take it again. 
and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. Eleven, and for and for this cause, God or Yahuwah shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. A lie is a deity. Now, Abba Yahuwah is the one that sent this strong delusion. Yes, judgment as a faith because he's angry. Now, what is strong? Not just delusional, but a very strong one. That uh, Revelation 3 3 says, Yahushua said, You will not know how I'm going to come upon you. How I'm going to bring this about this judgment. You're going to be surprised. You will not believe it. I'm the one doing this because you snuff his ordinances. You mocked, you defy Shabbat. You, 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 you place, oh no, oh no. Oh no, he's so hungry on next week. That is why he's bringing this flood judgment. That is why he's coming like the days of Noah. That is why Revelation 14 makes it so clear that blood is going to be overflowing on that street. That was why he said he's going to stain his garment with the blood of sin. He's so hungry. That is why he put the link of fire. He want to throw people into it because he's so hungry. You blasphemed. Now, where we just read, he sent you a strong delusion. No easy one. This one, you cannot come out of it. Until Jesus will not come to you by himself and say, I'm, the, I'm a thief. I'm not the Messiah. I never died for you. Until that, you can never believe it. You see this thing I'm saying? It's an offense to you. Because this delusion is not easy. He said it's a strong one. Because he himself said, you will not know how I'm going to bring this judgment on you. Is a very strong one. Strong delusion. So when this strong delusion, what is going to do? Just so that you will believe in life. Want to, you, want, you want to keep some. Keep on believing some. Jesus died for you. Keep on worshiping him. Twelve now. That they all might be damned. Who, uh, who believed not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Yahushua is the truth. John 3, uh, John 5 Verses 43, he said, I come in my father's name. You receive me not. He said, but or not that one is coming. In his own name, him you must receive. That is the thief. That is when he made up his mind to send you a thief as a judgment. Matthew chapter 7, verses 21 through 23. That is the thief over there. Whereby they said, I prophesy in your name. I cast out demon in your name. I do many miracles in your name. He said, come on now, get out. I never knew you workers of iniquity. What is iniquity? Lawlessness. You break the law. You have pleasure in breaking the royal. You break Shabbat. You, you feel no remorseful. You don't even care. You don't know what Shabbat is. You keep song. Indeed, judgment as a faith is here. <laughs> Can you handle this? Where the final one comes? When, 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 when you stand before you, we say, I never knew you. Do you know how, how you know, you know, Painful that is that is heartbreaking. You think you are laboring for the biblical Messiah. You think you are serving the one that really indeed goes to the cross. You think you make heaven already. Only on that day we say, I never knew you. We just deny you to your face. Come on, get out of here. I never knew you. Do you know how heartbreaking that is? Are you ready for that? He said, Repent. If you are not ready, because the judgment is here already. Only the final go. But when the final go come, you will never be forgiven because he has already come in person. He has already come. He's going to fall upon you suddenly. If that is the physical one you want, you don't want to take this one and repent, wait for that one. I never knew you. He put it clear already. He says he's going to reject it to your face. I never knew you. Depart from me. He said he will cast you into the outer darkness. You know what that is? Let's do this. First Peter chapter 4 verses 17. For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of God. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of God? So the problem is that you don't obey the gospel. You rejected the sound doctrine given unto you. That is why judgment is going to begin. Now why is judgment going to begin in the house of God? Because thief is already in the house. So all the demons, come on now. You don't need to look for witches and wizards in the cove. Go to Christian church. They are out there. 
magicians, they are they all turn to pastor, they put on suits now. The Babalawo before they all put on suits. All the magicians in the street of Lagos, Nigeria, and keep seeing them now became pastors. All of them put on suits, all the occultists, like this bastard Jeremiah, like Omoto Fefein, like this bastard Josie Sule says, Josie Sulema. These are all courtists. Okay? These are all courtists. Okay? These are all ritualists. They all carry Bible now. They are all arm robber. So he said judgment is, is going to begin in, in his house because white thief is in his house. So all the demons, the bottomless pit, they are all here inside the church. Inside, inside, the, no, but no, I don't even like to use language. But inside the house, you and I, in fact, I'm no more there. I'm out of Christianity, but my people is still there. Okay, this is going to judge. Why? Because all the wicked thief are in the so-called gathering of believers, the Christians. He said because it's going to start with them. So Abba Yewa has already gathered all the thieves in the bottomless pit. Put them all now in the Christian churches. Yes, it's Christian churches. That's why they have so many denominations. They are no more in the bottomless pit. They are no more in the secret place. They are all here for before you and me. So that's why judgment is going to begin from there. Thief is, all of this arm robber. So that's why it's going to call. It brings them all out already from their hiding places. Now it's, judgment is going to begin there. Because thieves are so many. All right, Matthew chapter 21, verses uh, 13. And it says, okay, and it said unto them, It is written, My father house shall be called the house of prayer, but ye have made it a den of thieves. So what were they doing over there? Huh? What, what were they doing business money? They were doing business. Oh, I do business today. Go to Christ. They sell all things. We are coming to, to that. So his house, thieves is inside now. Mm? Thieves, many, many thieves. So that's why judgment will begin there. Mm? Because all the Abba Yawa is busy doing the job. Uh, try to bring closure to this filthy earth. And he's busy, you know, about the renov 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 renovating of this earth. He's busy. So he chased out all these demons from their hiding places already there in the... Christian don't they are in the Christian don't now. In fact, they are the Christian don't. Oh, Jesus Christ, the powerful arm robber, is the greatest enemy, and all his pastors are working for him. Yes, church made as a thief. Okay, I think I would also like to put this on Mark chapter 11, verse 17. Then Yahushua began to teach them, and he declared, It is it is it not written. My house will be called a house of prayer for all the nations, but you have made it a den of robbers, thieves. Is Jesus Christ and his pastor not robbers? All they do this only all about money, money, money. So what is prayer? Fellowship, divine communion, communication, talking to your father, your father talking to you. Now you make it a den of thieves. So who is Christian praying to? That's why the prayer is no answer. They are talking to demons. That's why Nigeria is not going anywhere. That's why their prayer is no answered. Christians, they are the most powerful prayer warrior on earth. But God is not answering them. Because they are talking to demons. Because he said, my house should, is, 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 shall be called the house of prayer. What is prayer? Prayer simply means to talk to God. To commune with Him. To communicate with Him. To have a dialogue. I bet I need something like this. Or he will say, okay, my son or my daughter, let's put it, let's do it this way. You know, fellowship. Now, that house today is not the house of thieves, robbers. So, Christian is fellowshipping with demons. But the elect will be exempted. All oh, the pastor is going to, it's going to, in fact, the whole test place in the lake of fire is their own. But what I will say, judgment as a thief is here already. Now, how do they rob false teachings, okay? Man made up doctrine like Sunday, Christmas, all these things. These are all false. In fact, the Jesus itself is false. It's man made up, okay? Second Corinthians chapter 11, verses 30 through 15. For such are false apostles, deceive a deceitful workers, transforming themselves into this uh, uh, apostles of Messiah. And no marvel, for Satan himself 
is transformed into an angel of light, is darkness, okay? Therefore, it is great. It's no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. What is their works? Workers of iniquity. Matthew 21, uh, 7, verses 21 through 23. Yahushua rejected them to their face. I never knew you because you are thieves. You are working for the, your, you know, your, your grandmaster, the Jesus, which is the highest of all arm robber. Father, I think Allah. Allah is the highest too. <laughs> that is the last to go. Now, Isaiah 14, verses 12 through 15, whereby this demon Jesus said, I'm going to make myself like the most high. I'm also going to sit in the congregation. I'm, uh, people is going to also worship me. He's a thief. He's a thief. Because you love like the Father, you won't handle him unto you. Believe him, it's your business. That is the judgment of abandonment. Romans chapter 1, verses 5, from verses 20 through the end. He just gave you up to all cleanliness. Because you have no excuses. The book is so clear. But you said it's not clear, which means <laughs> you are under wrath. If you said it's not clear until you, are under Yahuwah's wrath. Honestly. Okay, now, Matthew 24, that is the, I quote that already, Matthew 24, verses 24, that is the first Messiah over there. Now, first, Thess uh, first Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 1 through 3, Yahushua said he's coming as a thief. He has already come as a thief unto you. He says it's going to be, it's going to come upon you. You will not know how he's going to bring this judgment. Yahushua is not Jesus. Don't get it twisted. Jesus is a thief, but Yahushua sent him unto you. He releases him unto you. Why? Because you hate the truth, which is he himself. He said, I come in my father's name. You don't receive me. Not, no, no problem. Or not that one is coming. You will receive. So he releases Jesus to you. Why? He was still on the 33 AD. No, this Jesus Christ marched into this earth, uh, AD 33. Because that is where Christianity came. That is why Roman Catholic, they were Roman Empire. They did not push their agenda to be the Roman Catholic. No, Kali simply means universal. They, they say they rule the world. Sunday is their mark of authority. They say Sunday, they institute Sunday. They never deny that. When you go to Catechism of Catholic Doctrine, the Third Commandment, uh, page 174, you're going to see it over there. The day they change Sunday, the Shabbat, and say Sunday is not the, the their mark of authority that they are God on earth. So after that, just uh, three years after Yahushua Ascension, this doctrine came in. Okay, the match they, they they just pump in. So since you the truth is clear, but you don't want fine, give you what you want. Okay, now it say as a thief in the night. So not thief. What is nine? Nine is a date also. It's also a date. Luke chapter twenty two verses fifty five. He said, when I was in the temple, you did not put a hand on me, but this is your time, and where the power of darkness reign what is the power of darkness death because they, they, are, they are about to crucify him now okay they are about to crucify his that is the night so that is going to overflow in the camp of christian because that is the judgment john 10 10 okay genesis 3 you're going to see how the death came in when it came what did he came what did he, what did he came the serpent genesis 3 what did he came to seek for what this is how he's still doing it today He's, he's, he came to rob them of salvation. That, that brings about this death. That brings about suffering. And whenever this angel, they see one time, Abba Yawa, he kicked them out of his, his you know, presence. Now, the first man, the first man, how many times did they sin? How many times did they break his law? One, only one time. He also knocked them out. He established link of fire. Now, Judas, also the same. Now, uh, 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 King Saul, how many times did he sin? Just one time. Abba, you were rejected him. How many times have you break the law? How many times have you break the Shabbat? Because his son has come, but yet you are not getting it. I quote, look at oh yeah, Genesis 3 already. I quote that one. John 10, verses 1. Yahushua said the real Messiah is going to come through the door. But the thief is going to pass through other means. Ah, I bet you once said Shabbat is my rest day. Jesus says Sunday. He came through other way. He came in his own name. He did not came in the name of Yahuwah. And you must remain under your father. Jesus said, Pastor, he's a thief. He don't have a father. That was what he said. It's Jesus. Yahushua came in his father's name. John 10, 10. Uh -huh. What happened? The thief came not to do what? To steal, to kill, and to destroy. 
That is the end of it all. But Jesus, judgment as a thief is here already. Luke 17, 26 through 30, verses 28 said, They bought and they sold. In the days of Lot, he said they bought, they sold. Until Lot came out from Saddam and Gomorrah and saw the destruction of fire and brimstone rain upon them, they never they will do powerful business. Who is doing powerful business today on this planet? It's Christian number one. They are selling their Jesus. They monetize their Jesus. In fact, not just only their Jesus, they come, because they are all thieves. They are all lovers of money. They also monetize our book. That one hurts me. They use our book to back up this nonsense. They monetize our book. They will be quoting Malaka. They will be quoting. If you ask them to keep the law, they will say Jesus destroyed his head. But if they want to steal, they will go to the law. Jesus is arm robber. Hmm? Now, he also has said it's coming it's like days of Noah and like days of Lot. When you read Matthew 21 verses 12 through 30, what they were doing? What, 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 what was going on in the temple business? They were selling dove. They were doing money exchange. When Yahushua came, he threw everything out. What is the symbol of this? The Holy Spirit. Oh yeah. Dove is the symbol of Holy Spirit. Oh yeah, it's also the symbol of Holy Spirit. What Christian? You don't see that solely anointing oh yeah, come and pay hundred thousand. Thief. Jesus is a thief, okay? Jesus is a complete thief. Matthew twenty five, verses one through eleven. Go at twelve. Go and read it. Now, that was why we the wise elect now be, uh, wise virgin now begin to mock the foolish virgin. Because they now say we should come and give them our oil. Oh yeah, it's the symbol of the Holy Spirit. We don't say that, okay? You, we don't borrow salvation. No, no, no. They now tell them, go and buy. Who is selling oil? And until it's Christian, though. When you are sick, they will say, come, just come and buy oil. Hmm? <laughs> Make it money. Make it big money. Business. Christian is doing powerful business. They are selling. He, this year's nonsense, uh, totally car. Jerusalem is traveling every every now and then. He's doing business. Selling. If you monitor me, bango, you die. Selling books. Selling all year. Oh, my father. What a business. First Timothy chapter 6, verses 9 through 10. The love of money is the root of all evil. The root of evil is also flash the evil tree. The evil roots, the root of the money lover is the root of all evil, which is also the evil tree, Genesis 3. Which is Jesus and all this nonsense, Christianity and all this bastard, and all their nonsense, all of that. They are all evil thieves, arm robber. Jesus is the greatest arm robber. Thank you, Abba. We have done this. So we we'll also do that. The final thief to come, to come and steal the leftover. <laughs> These are all arm robbers. So they are no more in the cave, they are no more in the dark places. They are here already to rob salvation. Mm, to steal you to the eternal link of fire, but come and repent. That is what we are saying. And Yahushua will receive you to Himself, and you will have eternal peace in Yahuwah's mighty name. Only if you can repent and do what the book says, there is still time to do that. There is life for you. Thank you, Abba Yahuwah. Bless your holy mighty name for your people. Love you, Abba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.